Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. So in this video, we are going to deploy the Streamlit application on the Share Streamlit. Okay. So what we are going to do is that we will take the application from the GitHub and we will add that on Share Streamlit and we will deploy that application on Share Streamlit and that we can share with our friends or anywhere we want to share that. Okay. So Share Streamlit kind of you know provide that streamlit cloud where we can deploy our streamlit application and they have some limitations that we will see so for deploying the streamlit application on share streamlit we need to have our code on github okay so share streamlit kind of fetches your uh, repositories and then look for the main file which is the app.py or streamlit app.py or any other pi file that you know you, you have your streamlit code written there and there are some standard requirement like requirement.txt as we deploy uh, this Python application anywhere in the server, right? So if you see, I, I'm right now on this toxicity classifier app. So we have built this app and uh, the video is all also available on AI Anytime YouTube channel. You can uh, go and watch this video toxicity classifier app that we built using Streamlit. And we also have created an API if you see it over here. So we have app.py which is nothing but the streamlit application that uses couple of functions like first it loads the tfidf and then it loads the nav based model okay the multinomial nav based model that we have you know used to uh, train on the tweets toxicity data and then we have toxicity prediction where we are using this tfidf and the model you know to uh, inference on this input text to, uh, to classify the text between toxic and non-toxic. So this is the streamlit uh, code that we have. So if you see, we have, uh, we have we have a few of the files, like we have requirements.txt, which kind of uh, contains our requirements, like we have scikit-learn and uh, uh, streamlit and numpy. And if you go back, we have the models, we have the tfidf, and this is the app.py. This is very important, okay? So now what we have to do, we have to go on this website, Sayer Streamlit, okay. You see sayer.streamlit.io, okay. So let just let it load. So you can see it takes me to the dashboard. This is my dashboard, and I have AI anytime. You know, I, I can here. You can see I'm logged in into this you know dashboard. Now, how does it work? Okay, so let me open this. You see, we have our Streamlit application, right? First, we have to build the Streamlit application. Once we once we are ready with the Streamlit application, we have to create a GitHub repository that can be public and private. Streamlit also provides one private repository that you know if you want to deploy. Okay, so you can see it says push it to GitHub. You uh, push this code base to the GitHub repository and then go on share.streamlit.io and then add that. And how we'll add it? So if you see, we have some options here. Let's first explore the options. If you come to settings. You will see that we have limits a limits it says resources per app so it provides you one gb okay of space that you know you can utilize that for your uh, deployment so if you remember there, are, there have been other uh, paths and SaaS services where we used to deploy our you know models or hobby projects Heroku being one of the most famous uh, platform as a service where you where we used to deploy our applications they used to provide 500 MB of slug size where we used to deploy our hobby projects okay, for, for many years. But they stopped it last year and there have been some you know challenges after that where, where because Heroku used to provide that 500 MB in free okay, and that's what Streamlit also does. Streamlit also provides 1 GB till free and there are other uh, uh, cloud services and there are other platform as service like you know runway.ml where you can also deploy your applications but if you have the streamlit applications which is not that heavy you, know, you can use sayer.streamlit.io to deploy the application so 1 gb resources per application then we have private apps options one app that can be your private app and then public apps unlimited so you can deploy unlimited apps you know if that repository is public and the application is also will be public in that case okay so that's the one thing. Now, let me just do one thing. Let me minimize this. You can see an option here which says new app. Okay. And there's a drop down. So if you if you click on the drop down, you will find it out that we have two options from existing repo or from sample app template. So if you do not have any 
application but you want to try this shared or streamlit io of course you can go and you know use this sample app template where you will have some boilerplates you can utilize that and deploy the application to test it out but we already have an existing repo that's what we will do so if you click on that repo it will take you to repository and then you have some branch like master or main that we will see and then we have main file path so if you click on the repository it will automatically fetch you few of the you know uh, latest repository from your linked github so you can see we have logged in with the github here you can see ai anytime right so i will select this which is my github repository ai anytime slash toxicity classifier app you can also copy and paste you can see which, which says paste github url but in this case i'll just uh, you know add this toxicity classifier app app if you come here you'll see that i am still in my main branch i do not have any other branches right so i am in the main as default and it's asking you the main file path which is very important you know so you have to see what is your file name it can be main.py it can be app.py it can be streamlit app.py it can be any other file name that you know we have we have here over if you see in the github repository in my case this is app.py and this is what i'm going to do so i'm going to come here i'll just remove this streamlit and you can see app.py okay. we also have some advanced settings now this is very crucial and important because if you have some database connect connections you have some database sitting in sql or mysql server and you know some database and you have a no sql database or you have any database which is on cloud cognitive service or any third party databases you have to you know use those uh, credentials here okay you can see the normal format that we have over here right you can make those changes we have some keys like when you are using some api keys we put that in the env file right that you can also use it here but in my case i do not have any database connections or i do not have any api so i do not require this so what i will do i'll keep this as it is and let me see this this is my applications code now what i'll do i'll just say deploy once i hit the deploy what it will do guys it will first spin up an instance that will i just i will show you what i'm talking about in some region it will you know start start the container and then we we'll start you know installing your dependencies and then your app will be up and running in few minutes and let's see that so when you hit the deploy what it does it will take you to this uh, ai anytime toxicity classifier that will be your domain as well and if you see we have an option here you know in the right hand side below that's called manage app now you have to click on that manage app so you will see that you can see some logs these are basically logs for this particular application that we are looking to deploy on share streamlit so we we can see some status like provisioning machine and it now is it's spinning up the processes and it's unpacking some rar files so it's kind of working in the back end you can also see we have an status message here which is which kind of being some icons and all it says your app is in the oven okay a uh, very catchy kind of a status message by streamlit so you can see all the dependencies are being installed in this case so for for my case it might takes a little time because i have you know some other dependencies which is not required like fast api and uvcon for example or uh, you can only have streamlit and numpy and scikit learn that is required for this uh, particular application but it will not take much time it will take around a minute for this application so if you come here let's go back to dependencies once so i'll go back to requirements.txt you can see these are not required like fast api and uvcon what we need is the streamlit numpy and scikit learn this is what required so if you go back to streamlit okay it says the oven has now stopped okay it means our app is coming guys okay so you can see we have toxicity detection app right now let me remove this okay or let me just uh, okay i don't need you can see that we have toxicity detection app it says input your text and we have a text input before uh, testing this out let me just show you one thing we have this option where we can manage this if you go on settings you go on themes you have you know light and you have dark if you click on you know light it will change you to the light theme if you go on dark from settings it will take you to the dark theme now you can ask the question here that hey that i have to change this light and dark what if i only need the dark theme how can i you know achieve that in the streamlit so what you have to do you have to create a file here you know that i can give that file in the description or maybe i can you know push it here on the github repository we have to create a file called 
config.2ml okay so we need the config.2ml file here and in that we have to uh, specify all this uh, configuration like we need the background theme as dark and all those uh, values that we have to give so it will automatically fetch it from there uh, from the config.2ml file and then your app will be permanently will be a dark thing okay so that we can also do and you can also change it from here okay so now if you see we have this enter your text now let's try this so if you remember uh, in the previous videos we have built this toxicity detection app where we used to classify the text the sentences between the toxic and non-toxic okay we have used a supervised machine learning algorithm to perform this task on the tweets data set that we downloaded from Kaggle. So if you are interested in building a toxicity classifier model, please watch my previous video. Okay. So now let's try this application to see if it's working as, uh, as you know, we are looking uh, the response. So enter your text. First, I will enter a text. You are. So this is my text that I want to see that you're toxic or non-toxic. This is more of a comment. Okay. This is very helpful, this kind of model, you know, for regulations, you know, if uh, YouTube also uses, you know, some kind of uh, algorithms where they kind of track this uh, inappropriate text or toxic text. So if you see, uh, when I when I hit the analyze button, it takes me to this result, which says the result is toxic. So I'm getting this desired response. Now, let me just do one thing. Let me remove this. Uh, that I will try with some other text that was an amazing product. And I really liked it. When I do this, that was an amazing product, and I really liked it. You can see the result is non-toxic now, so it's working perfectly fine. Uh, we have deployed an application in less than five minutes. The Streamlit application on Share Streamlit. Now you can see this is my URL here. You can see the domain that we have, right? Uh, a default domain kind of, you know, assigned by Share Streamlit or the Streamlit Cloud for this application. The first is AI Anytime Toxicity Classifier app, which is your GitHub repository name. If you see AI Anytime, which is your username and then Toxicity Classifier app, uh, classifier app. and then you have this kind of, you know, region or some uh, ID that we have to figure it out. And then we have this streamlit.app. Okay. This is what we are, you know, uh, getting as a as an URL. Okay, so you can share this URL uh, with your friends or with, with to your peer and they can also test it out. So this is very helpful to you know deploy an application if you have a model if you immediately want to try it out you know with your friend circle or if you want to send it to your team members you can just immediately deploy it from github it's very easy to also manage the code bases from github as well so this is one way of deploying an streamlit application we can also deploy a streamlit application on several other platforms and third party pass or SaaS services uh, like a, a railway that dot ml and then we have others as well so this is what we have uh, for this video uh, guys if you if you like the video you know please like the video and subscribe the channel and if you haven't subscribed yet do subscribe it and please share this video with your uh, friends and to peer thank you so much for watching watching this video uh, see you in the next video guys